U.S. State Department says it hasn't so far found evidence for Israeli war crimes in Gaza. This post received a score of 7,200, with an upvote ratio of 79%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I don't believe it should be controversial to say that they should continue to document, document, document everything and continue to investigate all claims fully and completely and punish any perpetrators if a crime is confirmed to be found. Document everything and prosecute anybody who needs to be prosecuted. Serious question. Do they not prosecute the heads of terrorist organizations in Qatar or Iran or Afghanistan? Do they have to know the identity of each person who raped, burned PPL alive, attacked civilians before doing anything about Hamas war crimes? Is saying that Palestinian civilians that followed them into Israel did all the bad things enough that Hamas war crimes can't be connected with higher-ups or any Hamas terrorists? There was a lot of documentation of the attack too which makes identifying people easier for crimes. Hamas had GoPro cameras on them, denying their atrocities after filming evidence of them as next-level psychological fuckery. I've seen people say that more than half of the civilians killed that day were killed by the IDF. It's amazing the lengths anti-Semites go to. It's similar to what Russia was spouting about Ukrainians killing their own civilians. I've had three people tell me that they totally have proof, and not a single one has linked actual proof. It's insane. The United Nations gives the following definition. Intentional murder of innocent people, torture or inhuman treatment, including biological experiments, willfully causing great suffering, or serious injury to body or health, compelling a prisoner of war or other protected person to serve in the forces of hostile power, use by children under the age of 15 years into armed forces or groups or using them to participate actively in hostilities, intentionally directing attack against the civilian population as not taking direct part in hostilities, extensive. What was that last one again? The last bit clarifies that collateral damage is illegal if it's considered disproportionate to the military value of the intended target. So say, for instance, if the IDF were to bomb a refugee camp killing dozens of bystanders not once but twice, then does that constitute a war crime? Not by itself. There has to be some intended military value. The military value doesn't have to be realized. It just had to have been reasonable and proportional to the damage done. Defining reasonable and proportional is going to be something you'll not have agreement on. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.